hello everyone so in today's video i'll be talking about integration i want to explain you the basics of integration what it is and what is call out what is uh, web services and how you should uh, you know approach an integration so uh, in today's video i'll talk about two different scenario and we'll assume that we have one system as salesforce the other system is sap and uh, in scenario one i'll be talking about uh, you know the data is created in sap side and then that data will come to salesforce and in second scenario the data will get created in salesforce and it will move to sap okay so talking about the first scenario uh, let's say let's say if uh, we have to create accounts in sap and then if you have requirement to send that data to salesforce okay uh, so in that case data will get created in sap and will move to salesforce now how you will move data from sap to salesforce again has two sub scenarios like uh, uh, you need to identify what is the trigger point when you want to send data from SAP to Salesforce. Okay, if you want to send data, let's say whenever you create an account in SAP, right away you need to send that data to Salesforce. So at that time, trigger point is SAP. Okay, so you need to do the call out from the SAP. Okay, and in Salesforce side, you need to expose a web service where you will expose a post method which will have all the requirements to create a contact create an account you will get account details via the request body of the callout which you will do from sap and here you will get the request body you know check all the all the necessary checks and create a account in salesforce whereas let's say you have a requirement that you need to trigger uh, it from salesforce let's say you want to say that whenever you create uh, uh, you know account in sap you are not bothered to get it right away what you are doing is that you have created a button in salesforce and with that button you want to fetch all the accounts which are created you know last day so every day you will you know fetch all the data in the morning you can do it via batch as well so in that case the trigger point is salesforce not the sap so in this scenario what you will do you will do a call out from your salesforce you will do a call out you will do a get call out so you will get a data from sap in sap you need to expose a, a get method or something depending on what they write but you need to do a get call out uh, you need to do a get call out from salesforce and uh, get that data once you get that data as a return as a response you can create it in salesforce so this was the first scenario i hope it is clear if not you can just ping me on linkedin and i will definitely be able to explain you this in in more detail uh, or, or with the help of example i'll try to attach the notes as well uh, which will have all the examples in in uh, in detail and uh, now let us talk about the second scenario okay so in second scenario you need to create data in salesforce and then need to send that data to to sap okay again it has two sub part whether the trigger point is salesforce or the sap means let's say let's say you have created an account and you need to send it right away how are you going to do that so let's say you have written a trigger and from that trigger you are doing a call out via future method so at that time you need to do a call out you need to send all the data okay in the request body and then sap must have exposed something to get the data and create a account via via that uh, that data you have you have sent okay via that call out request body okay and let's say if you have a scenario where sap need to request that data so in that case you need to expose an api let's say you have exposed a get method where uh, where you are you know just fetching all the accounts created last day and then sending it uh, to to the system who, whosoever is requesting that get api so in that case sap will do call out you are just exposing your get method and sending that data whosoever request that method okay of course directly they cannot do that so then comes the integration uh, sorry the authentication and authorization part where you need to make sure that uh, you know the systems the two systems which are connected with each other are you know uh, connected uh, authenticated and authorized